YouTube, this is Harmon Hart. I'm here to give you a couple of tips to make your Kawasaki Mule 4010 run better. So, what's the problem with the idle on the 4010s and the 4000s and all these V series motors? This hose right here that goes down where this hose is now, this is your crankcase pressure vent. And if you follow that hose, it goes up and around. It's right here and it goes into the throttle body here where I have this uh, I, I now have a plug over and what happens is all that oily vapor goes in there and it fouls all these electronic uh, uh, butterfly valves and then the thing won't idle right or it tries to compensate with a fuel injection and uh, I think Kawasaki knows they have a problem but uh, they're they can't do anything about it because the EPA will not let them vent this to the atmosphere but what I did was I got on you on eBay and I bought one of these little oil catch cans and you can uh, spin the bottom off and drain it occasionally it's got a little uh, screw out dipstick here so you can you can see how full the thing is and you just unscrew it and then pull it out and you can read it and it'll tell you how full your catch can is and then it's got like a miniature um, filter here that filters the vapors going out. This is in. This tube goes back to where that crankcase vent was and I've got a screw clamp on this uh, hose and there it is. And so it, this is the crankcase vent. It comes up here and goes around the front of the motor and back here to my catch can. And this is the input on the catch can. This is the output. And the crankcase has to be ventilated in order for it to run correctly, but this vent should allow it to vent correctly without running all the vapors into the side of the throttle body here and causing this fouling issue. And I've read so many, um, so many different accounts of people, as soon as they unplug this and, and cap it off, their machines start to run better. You can actually go in there and clean all this stuff if you, if yours is bad enough. But first thing Kawasaki's going to do is they're going to admit nothing, deny everything, and demand proof. They're going to want you to uh, take it down there and pay to have it clean, about $400. And then they're going to clean it for you once for free. And then they're going to replace the throttle body. And after that, I don't know what they're going to do. But uh, I hope this solves the problem. I think it's a step in the right direction. I'll report back occasionally and let y'all know how it's going but I think that I'm on to the root cause of the problem it's not just that the throttle body gets dirty on its own it's because you're pumping oily fumes in there and it's gumming everything up so we'll see and uh, I'll uh, if anybody has any questions just leave me a note and I'll try to get back to you thank you bye